This is Keepsakes, the podcast. I'm Jay Agonoy. This is episode 37 of the podcast. Thank you as always for listening. And now we're going to talk about MLL48 once again and once more. After taking a break for two months because of other prior commitments, especially Otaka Fest, I'm back and I've seen uh, so far yung mga developments. I've talked to people about the happenings inside ML48 and of course with the fans. And uh, suffice to say, uh, I learned a lot. So uh, for the first part, we're going to share, uh, or rather I'm going to share, a recording that I did with uh, the people who are spreading the word about MLL48. It's Elinogami, Elinogami himself, and from the Manila Times, Reggie K, the Reggie K, si Rehenan Abang. And with that said, uh, wag natin magpaligoy-ligoy. I'll be giving you the recording that happened on Facebook, and you will hear the three of us discuss things. Keepsakes, the podcast. Reina Nabang, Manila Times. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon din also, Jay. Yeah, and... nanginig pa ako. Sabi ko sa'yo, wala pa akong kain eh. Oh, may kakain ka lang after nito. <laughs> Ayan, alright. So yun, um, uh, sino tong live ngayon? Ah, si Chris Nick! He's live. Hello, Chris Nick. What's Ayan, up? Si, si Mark Lesser Chris Nick. Ayan, okay. Um, first time ko mag-live dito sa Sentries, ano? Pero, um, a lot of things have been happening. Uh, teka, ita, it, it, sorry, ha. Bakit, Ali? Ali ka dito, sabayan mo kami. <laughs> Ayan. 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 Ginagawa ko. Ayan. Nahimik ako dito. La. Hindi, <laughs> ito, kailangan nyo ito, pare, mga pare. Oh, sige. Uh, yan, 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 yan. Slap since, slap since, slap since po. Hindi tayo sponsored ng ano. Doesn't matter. Is this sponsored? <laughs> Ayan. Ayan, so... Mamaya po, uh, ano yun yung performance namin ni Reginan, magmamagic kami mamaya. Oh, magic kami. <laughs> What kind of magic? Storito magic. Yung ano, yung nawawala yung pera. <laughs> 24 karat magic in the air! <laughs> Ayan naman na lalo yun na yun. <laughs> Ay, hello kay Omar. Ayan si Omar, right. Ay, Ay, Omar. First, yun nga, first time po mag-live dito, wala akong kadala-dala. <laughs> I thought I'm off with this wild ride, pero nandito pa rin ako, I still have my ticket. And of course, faithful, faithful. Ayun, so, lab- labi tayo dito. This, was, this is very spicy. I, I'm looking forward to... Eh. Ayaw niya, ayaw niya, ayaw niya eh. Ano? Wala ako, hindi, hindi ako sanayin niya sanayin. Hindi ako sanayin niya sanayin. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ano ba? Sorry, yun nga. Uh, dito lang sa part na yan, para sa may, may lilim. Ayun, no? Uh, San Ganap, Eton, Centris, Elements, Quezon City. Omar, kung may ticket ka, punta ka. Kung wala kang ticket, bili ka dito ng CD. ML48 Marketing, ladies and gentlemen. Now, okay, pare, mga pare, elections. Elections or evictions? Your thoughts? Eviction! <laughs> I, kasi, this is far as I understood, ano? I guess, um, ang dami natin mga ano, para Eli, aside from Faith, hmm. sino pa pwede mong enumerate? Aside from Faith, the Senbatsu, si Alice, si Ash, hmm. si Gab, sino bang, ano, sino bang kilala mong uh, kaya mong enumerate? Can you give, give me 10 MNL48 members aside from the Senbatsu? Si... Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi this is, this is just a gauge kung ano ba yung uh, what's happening with the MNL48. Eh. Marang yung pinag-usapan natin to kasama si Sir James ah, noong isang araw. <laughs> oh yun nga. Yun nga. So isang araw, just one day ago, I don't know. Uh, hinihintay din natin ang main man natin si Sir James. So yun nga. Um, sige. Uh, from, from the top of my head? Yung yes, mga, please. Okay. So yes, aside, please. Aside from mga sige, ano yun natin yung ano, mga sen, uh, uh, minus the Senbatsu. Minus the Senbatsu, mm. minus si Fate, minus si mm. Alice, minus si Kay, mm. minus si Ash. Yung ba yun, mamamatay pa tayo. <laughs> dita, 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 dita. Okay, while we're walking ha, while we're oh, walking. Go, 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 go. So, ayan, nandyan si... Siguro yung kambal, parang hindi, i- ano pa ba natin yun? Kasi kahit hindi sila masyadong exposed, mm. is matunog pa rin naman yung names nila. So, oh. I agree. Ayun, ayun, siguro si na, yun, mga likes of Kyla, si na Jewel, sino pa ba, um, si Gia, also, 
Ang hirap ano yun pag hindi mo ano eh, hindi pag alam hindi mo alam kung Senbatso na ba to or what or si Colin. Oh, si Colin. Well, ayun si Senbatso siya eh. Senbatso oh. na. You're that out of the loop, dude? Yes, I'm that out of the loop. Palusot ko maybe. <laughs> hindi ko pa narinig siya, yan. Siya yung center noon, si Colin yung center noon. Pero ang cute niya. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ngayon nga no. So, uh this I ask because of one reason, one reason only. ML48 currently has 57 ladies Ooh. on its roster. And as far as I understood, the second general election is more of like, uh, kung sino matitirang 48. Mm. I don't know if this is uh, in at par with Japan standards. I don't know if this is parang valid sa kanila. I don't know if uh, Japan approves this or what. Uh, let's assume na wala pang uh, resolution regarding this. Ano? Mm. Uh, what, ano, what are your thoughts? Well, uh, from ano, ito kasi, uh, from what I'm reading online, <laughs> di ba? It's more like parang experimental. Uh, ML48 is being treated as, as guinea pigs daw oh. from what I'm hearing. Mm. And uh, from, ayun nga, from, what's, from, the, from the things happening, it makes sense. Parang ano, but at the same time, well, it's totally different from what we're used to eh. Sa, well, especially with the... Uh, yung AKS tradition yeah. na sinasabi nila. So, yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts doon muna for now. And marami pa tayong kailangan ano eh, marinig ba on the side of the management and kung ano yung total explanation nila. Definitely, or, definitely. Yes. Kasi, malam- and, although the instructions are there, of course, we people like to seek validation. Mm. Okay. Diba? What are your thoughts, Reggie? Ah, okay. So, una sa lahat, yun. Um, tulad na sinabi ni Ellie no, kanina is that uh, from the looks of it, nagiging experimental na yung ML40 second, uh, second uh, SSK or second uh, general elections. At uh, tingin ko kasi ano yan eh, parang it is not part to the usual na nakikita natin for the past 10 years sa AKB48. Not just in AKB48 but in BNK and JKT. However, um, from the looks of it kasi parang if you look back sa timeline before... Uh, uh, dito regarding sa posting ng general elections ang AKB48 fan page yun nga ay ang unang nagpa-reveal ng uh, dates of activities including the second general uh, gen- uh, second gen- uh, elections mm-hmm. which they explained not so elaborately but they explained it short na may ano na may matitira or may mananatili bilang second year ML48 members so parang with that the fans are now speculating and then speculating keeps on, spe- uh, keeps on questioning uh, MNL48 uh, posted their side kaso nga lang explanations then vague na captioning and such that um, that those things alone uh, created a f- uncontrollable flame within the fandom so parang Di mo, naman di, mo, ano, o, di mo ma-explain eh. Parang, you, if you, ano, parang nagbalik tayo sa 2018. Nung panahon ng Challenger 7. Challenger 7. Ayan, panahon ng Challenger 7. Pero, iba, ano, parang hindi ka to. This is on a larger to, scale. A larger scale na to. Larger scale na to. Kung ang Challenger 7 nga is, is we, ano, ano, ito pa kaya. Parang, um, like I said do sa Twitter ko last time is kung kinaya, kinaya na natin yung Challenger 7, kakayanin pa, pa natin to. But I don't know. I don't know kasi um, on on the uh, say financial perspective okay mm. sige, sige uh, we got to the point na yun nga we're managing 52 ladies oh or 57 rather 57, 57 ladies and at this moment sino ba yung pinakilala sino ba yung pinapasi sino ba yung uh, mas mat, ano when when it's MNL48 of course sino mas course, angat sino, sino mas angat of oh, course when yeah. when you talk about MNL48 I, I will mention fate 100% Challenger 7, Fate, Ash, Gab, Alice, Sheki, especially Sheki. Abby, Sela. Hindi pwede makalimutan uh, si Sheki. Especially those three, kasi sila talaga yung parang uh, standard bearers na talaga sila eh. Mm. Within the start of the, no, nung ever since the general election, silang tatloy talaga yung maugong na pangalan. Mm. So bale, um, in my opinion, in the second general uh, elections, those three will stay. The question is what and what rank. Yun lang yung problema. The, the another question is, sino yung mananatili among the bottom 45? Ganun. Yeah, 40, 49 to oh. 57. Oh, yeah, mga 57. Kasi, I don't know, ah. Um, 
people are, ano eh, sino ba, sino ba nagsabi na this is an eviction? I think I heard it somewhere else. Or maybe that's just me. Pero, no, really, um, if the, uh, kung sino yung top 48 na uh, will be lined up as the second generation members of ML48, uh, I think um, ML48 management is, um, I'm assuming 100% na they're trying to um, uh, speak and span their financial statements. Oh. Nasarap tayo ng office nila, tanungin so, na natin. Ayun, nandun, no? nandun yung HHE, <laughs> nandun yung mismo <laughs> opisina, konting, di walks away lang naman dyan. But yeah, uh, definitely, uh, on a business perspective, yun nga, um, they need to, parang, uh, they need to limit the financials kasi uh, 48 is, for me, uh, in my opinion, uh, 48 is quite a handful, paano pag 50 plus. So, hindi naman tayo AKS na tipong mas malaki ang pera pa nila kaya sa atin. Mm-hmm. Ang, 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 ang akin lang is that um, I wanted the management na talaga to ay, ano, mag, ay, ano, ayusin lang kahit papano. Hindi naman yung bonggang bongga na parang BNK48. No? Ang akin lang is that they need to fix everything. I know the damage is there na. And we don't need yung parang um, parang band aid solution. But for now, we need, uh, kahit band aid lang, okay lang, para as long as you need to have the development niya, especially sa second gen elections. Kasi para matanggal yung parang pangamba. Kumbaga. So, we need the management to explain talaga in terms of the elections. Um, on my end naman siguro, in this case kasi, yun nga, uh, my hypothesis that, my hypothesis is that uh, MNL48 uh, management is uh, cleaning up their statements, financial statements, and at the second time, um, kailangan, uh, they're now limiting, uh, well, this is my assumption that they're limiting to, uh, no, and I think this is a so-so uh, uh, thing, uh, although it's bad for fans, it's good for the management. Uh, well, well, I think that's the way things uh, are. And Uh, since we Filipinos love to love the underdogs, of course we will rally. Because nandyan na sila, eh. bakit pa mawawala? Yeah, of course, we we like we we are very romantic people. We like uh, to uh, at most romanticize things. Yes, and yun nga, no? um, I'm I'm not really sure how to say this, pero yun nga, uh, it's more of ML40 is cleaning up their ranks. Uh, fixing their stuff after a year or so and on my perspective uh, with the reasons of cleaning their financial statements alone okay ako na with the I'm, I'm sorry uh, I'm okay with actually okay with the system kasi um, yung ano in ano, my uh, another hypothesis on my end is that yung ibang mga ladies na hindi napapansin hindi talaga napapansin they have their own fan clubs pero Siguro if if they it's, it's like a it's like in a workplace it's like in a large company oh. especially uh, ano, I um I can't say uh, call centers for example it's more of like a big management and huge huge uh, roster of talents hindi ka napapansin tapos um you mean di ba hindi ka napapansin tapos uh, you want to want to look at the uh, greener grass possible yun uh, possible. kasi di ba nga si and with the case of uh, Eda Oh, yeah. Ayan, si Eda uh, Toro ba yun? Yeah, Eda Luzada. Oh, 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 oh. Si Eda. Yun nga, she, she didn't pursue further ML48 as a trainee. Kasi, yun nga, um, it's, it's more of a uh, personal choice. Oh, yes. Uh, personal choice of financial... I, I believe it's a financial choice as well. Uh, Not just Eda, but also to the likes of Trixie, the likes of... Uh, Angel, which is now part of the P-pop gen, An- and ayon. Uh, Wait, so, Angel who? Angel, si an yon? She was a uh, ML48 May. May si May yon, si May Patokael yon, si May Patokael. Now si she is P-pop gen Angel. So yon, yon example na rin yon. So bale the other members kasi na nag-graduate. Even yung former, ano, former aspirants, si na... Aria. Uh, Ogo, si Aria, si... Aria Canino. Di Aria Canino. Aria Canino, Eunice Santiago. Especially si Eunice kasi after after yung kanyang uh, departure sa MNL48. She continued to pursue her vlogging career na eh. Oh, oh, 
talaga mauho talaga yung yes, she already has a fan base after oh, that oh yeah mas mas lumaki rather but uh-huh. yeah uh, the point is yun nga um tola sinabi ni Jay is um may mga ano may mga graduates ng uh, former aspirants or former members that uh, they pursue for their career na ano uh, na hindi na hindi parang uh, hindi kasama sa MNL48 and likes so pala yun and uh, parang Eli would you like to add more to this Well, just going back to the conversation kati kanina, yung sa about yung, well, clearing out yung ano, diba? Hmm. Yung financial things. I mean, this is something I've been pondering on since the start talaga. What's the point of, ano, what's the point of bringing a full roster? Yung, I mean, yun talaga pinili, yung decision talaga yun from the start. I, all, I, ano yan? Pilit at eh. mabilis. Oh. Madali. Parang madali sila dung time na yun. Kasi po instead na standard 16 naging isang bagsakang 48. Oh, it would be, it would have been much easier kasi kung hindi nila pinuno yung buong roster eh. Oh, yeah. And hindi lang hindi lang para sa kanila but for also the girls din na yun nga sabi mo hindi napapansin since right now wala pa silang theater which um, ay lang naman yung theater ginagawa lang sa oh, ano, sa sa Centris Station eh. Mm-hmm. So yun nga to continue. Yun 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 lang talaga yun ang hinihintay na ano na parang kung ba, activities for now nung mga hindi, hindi masyado well, yung, yung mga hindi na, mga wala sa Sinbatsu ayun but ayun nga since ngayon wala pa yon ang nangyayari well aside from their usual trainings most of the time from what I can ano from what I'm hearing ay uh, parang nakatambay lang parang naka reserve yun reserve lang oh, so ano, ano kasi tsaka ano minsan nila kailangan mall show eh pero mm-hmm. hindi masyado covered yung mall shows puro ano Luzon mm-hmm. oh. so petition 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 <laughs> so you want Cebu go seaside ganon SM Seaside City Cebu ganon eh hindi dadaan muna yan ng Legaspi City ba ayun <laughs> ayun <laughs> Legaspi muna Legaspi mm-hmm. ayun Legaspi City muna uh-huh. but yes ayun eh yun talaga Uh, it causes everyone's time kasi yung the free yung girls freedom so to do other things and um ayun basta I, i just don't really understand what's what was going with to their minds kasi na ano eh pat sila nagdecide na punuin yung roster and ayun nga nakita ko na na parang mag, mag magba-backfire to and that's that's what's happening na eh from fans speculations na slowly backfiring na kasi Sige, uh, yun, yun, yun. Uh, okay. Sige, pa, uh, parang Eli, I'll just need to set up a uh, few things. Ha? Pahawak muna. Okay. Ayan. Sige. Ayan. Ayan. So, yun nga, no? uh, continuing from the conversation, ayan, nakalimutan natin yung pinakamamahal nating watermark. Ayan. <laughs> ayan. I- hindi siya pwedeng mawala. Ayan. Mm. Okay, we're back. Okay, text para kay Eli. Ayan. So, yun nga, no? um, we still, uh, kumbaga kahit na nandyan na, nandyan na yung full print eh. Pero of course, hindi pa rin tayo makapaniwala. So we still seek validation. <laughs> And that's hopefully uh, that's one answer na hopefully mara mara reach natin dito with the conclusion because uh, ayun na nga no the sky is cooperate not cooperating with us uh, medyo makulimlim eh, but it does cooperate with Manila Water right right yeah tama right <laughs> and you don't know about Manila Water right right mm-hmm. well uh, in well, my wala wala din yata kayo ng tubig sa Bicol eh <laughs> no wala di, well is more specifically doon sa lugar talaga namin eh Most of the time, walang tubig doon. So, Ay, wow. I, I can, um, tawa mo dito. I can, you can relate. Mm, I can relate sa mga nangyayari dito ngayon sa Metro Manila. The last time that I've been to Bigol, yung ano, pinuntahan ko yung Oo. studio mo. Mm. At that time, be- during that morning, wala pa lang, ano na, wala na kuryente doon. I don't know why. Mm. Tsaka, eh, nagkita tayo noon, super saglit lang. Dadaanan lang ako ng kotse niyo. Oo. <laughs> <laughs> And that was fantastic, mm. I tell you. Mm. Kasi parang, okay, history in the making. Yay! Ayan, yun nga, um, okay, so anong agenda natin after we proceed with the, uh, after after this uh, handshake event? Inom. Inom, uh, ikaw? <laughs> Tuloy yung article kasi kailangan kong ayusin yung article ko. <laughs> o nga pala, you're, you're, you're great in stories. Well, well, well. Uh, just in case na makabot na sa management ng ano, Idol FM, I'm still, I'm still here for work, so... <laughs> Tawagan ka ano lang. lang. Ano lang yun, uh, part lang yun ng work, yung ano, kumbaga diba, courtesy... <laughs> You know, uh, uh, courtesy you know. <laughs> you know. eh, ganyan, ganyan talaga pag ano eh. uh, uh, that's, biz- that's business ayun so ayun nga no? um, ladies and gentlemen the main men who are uh, spreading the word about MNL48 on print 
and on air. Ayan, sparring Eli, Reggie Abang. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, pag umulan sana, sana ulan. Umulan ka na matindi. Tatapon mo lahat yung ulan sa Angat Dam or what? Or sa Lamesa. Please punta ka na sa Lamesa. We don't need you here. Yes, indeed. It's already, it's already gloomy here. <laughs> Akala mo, masaya-sayaan. Tignan mo yan pag nag-rack mamaya. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they won't, but it will be reflected on... Um, situation so far 748 pero of course as always we wish for the best because this is our own group M148 and that's the, I think that's it for now my name is Jay with keepsakes everybody uh, let's greet everyone uh, hello yan, yan, okay. hello hello yan. Po, hello po. <laughs> yan. and that's it for me right now stay tuned for more content may isa pa content na hindi pa nagagawa which is yung sa Watage Pilipinas Ayan, ayan. So with that, uh, maraming salamat sa inyong... Uh, no, thank you very much, Jay. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jay. Thank you. Ayan. So with that, uh, we'll end the stream. And thank you sa tatlo, apat na nanood. Hoping that this information will be... Uh, you can share this to everyone. It will be preserved on Facebook. So yun, ano? Keep Sex, the podcast. And that was our conversation with... Eli Nogami, Eli Nogami himself of the Idol Talks and the Idol Talks podcast of Beacles 89.1 uh, Idol FM and Rehina Nabang of the Manila Times and that was an enjoyable discussion that we've had. Uh, so days after the handshake on Wednesday, Paulo Kurosawa spoke to Anime Pilipinas about the general elections as well as the uh, uh, as well as addressed criticisms over the management or Halo Halo Entertainment where Kurosawa san is the head, uh, the lead man, the main man. Uh, of course, uh, there's there's a lot of things that are mentioned in the story and uh, setting that aside is yung uh, ginagawang uh, Animate store and yung uh, ginagawang uh, uh, cool Japan uh, area sa Glorieta. But maybe we can focus on the discussion about MNL48. And of course, there are many points to ponder upon reading this story uh, penned by Red Mendoza. And uh, the thing about uh, this conversation is you know, we can see in a very candid si Kurosawa when uh, we can, uh, yun nga, when I deduce the story, ano, uh, uh, so the point here is that the fine print states that the general election uh, for this time, the second general election, will involve a general eviction, meaning uh, they cannot handle uh, more than 48 ladies, so they have to uh, size down to 48 ladies. It's quite understandable hearing the uh, complaints from people. Of course, it's really hard to decide, especially if you're not that kind of, uh, parang well done, or in my terms, siguro hindi hindi mo pa kaya ng ano. Of course, uh, halo halo admit so that mistake, and as course our states. Uh, of course, uh, speaking of the second general election, it was quoted that uh, he also wants a fair election this time. So, of course, fan speculation is that nang may mga dayaan talaga sa election before because sabi niya this time. Eh. And, well, if, he's, if he said it out of whim, well, uh, there goes the fans going on kaput once again. So, uh, yan yung mga bagay na... Uh, kinaayaw ko sa MNL48 fandom although they're the sum of the really generous fans MNL48 is home to the generous of fans na if hindi ka kung hindi nila in ng gifts yung Oshi nila they go to the line they manage the line and they welcome the fans who will uh, will shake hands with their Oshi and give them, for example, uh, Cloud Niners gave like uh, raffled off tickets, handshake tickets, and uh, of course, natik man din yung uh, nilutong cookies ni Ash uh, straight from her father, no? Uh, of course, pero yun nga, uh, there's pros and cons. 
So, yun, there's there. And with the general election coming, of course, hindi may iwasan nakabahan ng mga tao. What if uh, may nangyari na mga ganito, may favoritism and all that. And uh, let, uh, I sh- uh, let me just um, get to the story so far. No? Uh, sabi nga ni Kurosawa is he wants a fair election this time and kung sino man maging center ang sabi niya dito to quote he's waiting for the center who will sing uh, the next MNL48 song uh, there's uh, of course in future direction uh, about future direction ano, uh, people have been thinking na they uh, they go to AKS ask for help na please AKS do something about the management of Halo Halo eh, let me uh, quote a statement here from Kurosawa no? uh, that says that yung future direction ng uh, MNL48 is given a heads up na and uh, to quote Kurosawa says the plans regarding the general election as well as the future direction of MNL48 have been given the go-ahead by Yasushi, uh, Yasushi Akimoto, the overall producer and brainchild of the AKB48 group. And Kurosawa is quoted saying that this has been planned already. Uh, Kurosawa says, adding that their system of election will be watched by the other teams. Now, hindi malino sa akin kung which teams to. Is this uh, JKT, BNK, Team SH, Team TP, and yun nga, of course, uh, this is a different kind of election. Uh, this uh, Challenger 7 thing, if you remember the Challenger 7 thing, in which it agitated people a lot, it agitated the fans a lot, is uh, actually from... Is actually a concept from uh, the one of uh, Akimoto's uh, ideas, which is Last Idol. And I've searched enough for uh, on Google so far. It's came through to confirm that Last Idol has a system where they uh, have a challenger. And kung sino mang challenge, kung mapatunayan niya ng worth it niya, kung mapatunayan niya ng worth niya, hindi retain. So, yun, that's uh, that's a reality show actually. And that's a reality show uh, which forms a group. And uh, of course, uh, I think uh, hindi basta-basta yung uh, uh, yung evolution ng kung ano man process na Akimoto has and the whole AKB group and well, that's to be discussed further, no? Mm, medyo naguluhan lang kayo sa last episode natin because I didn't really expected a lot. I didn't really explained a lot. So, yun. Uh, I hope uh, as you listen to this and you carefully listen to this because I'll be stating the important points na kailangan malaman ng tao and how to react to it. According to me, <laughs> syempre, how, how do I react to these things? And napaka-chaotic na po ng uh, fandom at the moment. So, I hope I can uh, share some uh, sense. So, uh, scrolling down, of course, nabanggit, nabanggit ko na, uh, Akimoto has given this a go. This has been planned already. And uh, to, uh, this election is to be watched by the other teams. Those who will be voted out of the second generation elections will graduate on the same day. And this general election will be broadcast on ABS events at Showtime. So, of course, as always, it's Showtime is a partner ng ABS. And people are thinking na kasabot dito si ABS because, uh, you know, Jogi, Laurenti Jogi. Uh, you cannot release the. Ano, pag na stereotype ka, it's really hard to remove the connotation from you. Really, kahit na sabihin natin, of course, of course, I had my comments kay Lorente Jogi, ano, suspected na si Kuya yan, or what not. Pero, those are, I don't know, ah. Uh, maybe napatunayan, or maybe hindi, hindi, hindi ako sumasubaybay sa mga ganyan. Remember, um, remember this, uh, these words. We're talking about ideas. We're talking about the concepts. We're, we do not talk about people. We do talk about that's probably the pettiest 
of things by far. Uh, hindi ko lang ma-form yung uh, mismong uh, quote na yun, ano, pero it's really, it's really something that I try to teach myself to do so. Kasi this is an idea. So, of course, we're, co- we're combating the idea of uh, itong mga uh, 48 ladies out of 57 ladies. And then, yun nga, no, of course, there will be challengers. Um, it may be due to many factors. It may, yun nga, it may be due to the umanoy favoritism. It may be due to the umanoy um, dissatisfaction, performance. Eh, well... That's I'm I cannot validate things and you cannot validate those things. It's it's uh pwede, pwede evaluate. You can you can you know you can make a, your informed decision. No one holds you back. Not I'm not even me. Uh moving back uh I, it, it's all, it's also stated that uh there will be major major surprises for MNL48 after the ano the general election siguro or maybe maybe Crossowas and considers to uh, hold a tour to other cities. Uh, th- uh, this is according to uh, Kurosawa, no? and I quote: na, uh, "I'm always looking. I am always looking for the possibility for the group to go to a local city." Kurosawa said when asked about the possibility of MNL48 touring other cities like Cebu or Davao. And uh, now comes the beefiest part of the story that Red Road penned. Uh, to quote, he also addressed the fans being critical to HHE regarding the management of the group who have been claiming that they should uphold AKB tradition as per the stickers that were distributed to the fans during the handshake event. And he's quoted saying, they do not see the whole picture and syempre, I do not announce all what is happening. But if they see it, they will be excited. But I can't tell. Then he smiled. Uh, he also says that he appreciates the comments of the fans, believing that they really love MNL48 talaga. Uh, yun na nga, no? Of course, uh, 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 I've said a lot of points here. Um, maybe on the other hand, you will be agitated when you see or hear these words na uh, uh, yun nga, may, may tanggalan mangyayari and this will be broadcast on live television. And uh, uh, these fans are really, uh, really love ML48. That's the, uh, that's the other part. Uh. Okay, so yun nga, no? there's pros and cons in the story. There's questions, answered and unanswered. And I'm simply looking forward to the next uh, few days going into the concert, into the elections. And I again, I'm opening my uh, door to the fan clubs to... Well, campaign for their Oshin, campaign for the second generation election. Why? Because uh, my uh, after talking to different people who's on the both sides of the coin, siguro mga one two people yeah. Pero um, that that formed my informed decision to support the ladies simply because if uh, how do we vote? So we vote by buying the merchandise. And merchandise for merchant for 250 pesos, you get a ticket. So that voting ticket, you will vote for your Oshi. And um, some f- clubs have already planned their fundraising campaigns to to support their Oshi. For example, yung fan club ni Ash, yung fan club ni Alice, Captain Screw, yung yun yung Cloud Niners, and uh, yun nga, no, there's, 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 uh, uh, yun nga, of course, na, uh, sila yung mga madas mapansin sa ML48 and all that. But, yeah, uh, you can participate in these campaigns or you can vote yourself. You can, yes, uh, you can buy uh, the stuff. How will this affect the election? Kung hindi natin ikakampanya ang second generation election, and uh, we don't, um, we don't, uh, of course, in order to vote, support the Oshi, we have to participate in the voting process. And if we do not have cash to buy the tickets that, that are bundled with the merchandise, eh, of course, in the future, wala rin uh, magiging uh, pang-usad pang si Halo-Halo. 
entertainment na ano. Uh, of course, considering the, ano, yun nga, may sinabi din siya about sa mga bagong uh, uh, nominees or candidates in the election. And uh, it will be coming, the, uh, as he said, in few weeks' time. Oh, nandiyan na yan eh. Pero andito tayo sa point na to eh. It's already the system. The system tells us to vote for our OSHI so that they can be retained as part of MNL 48's second generation. So, we, uh, I believe yun nga. I believe we have to play to their terms because that gives us, uh, that gives them the reason to validate na eto kung mga fans kayo ni Oshi X, Oshi Y, Oshi Z na yun nga, of course uh, fans kayo ng fans pero hindi niya suportahan yung uh, fan nyo talaga of course, uh, that's one and number two dito mapapatunayan kung sino superior ang fan club na ano of course, you have to assert your dominance and this is war this is already war as with any other MN, uh, AKB48 election. Yun nga eh. Um, speaking of uphold AKB tradition, of course, I have been given the sticker. And I have been asked, uh, I don't know if they will uh, screen this, no, no? pero I've, uh, I met Miki, uh, they approached me, uh, and uh, Mikey rather, no? uh, and uh, asked questions, uh, recorded to. Of course, I said what I said, what I, what I know. And one thing that I realized is, Ilang taon na ba ako sa MNL48 fandom? Isa. Ilang taon na ba ako sa AKB48 fandom? Not sure. So that further validates na ako, myself, hindi pa ako masyadong informed. Until, I, after that handshake, siguro I get to talk to people na, no? Na, yun nga, yun nga, there's, there's, of course, uh, baka may mga... Uh, agenda tayo dyan, ano? Of course, it's it's valid na we have an agenda. It's just to show that there are fandoms that want to assert their dominance. And in the election, let's uh, much be- it's much better if we win on our uh, on their terms, not on our own terms. Kasi of course, tayo nag-set ng terms, okay, fine. Pero yung alam mo yun, the satisfaction that comes from winning on their own terms, on the management's terms. Meaning, oh, sige, marami kayong napaan, ano, uh, marami kayong biniling merchandise, marami kayong uh, pinamigay, diniseminate sa, to everyone, to every fan ng Oshi nyo, Oshi X, Oshi Y, Oshi Z. Eh, that further validates na, okay, kaya nyo kami suportahan. Of course, there are, of course, people are still doubtful, pero um, regardless of that, Mm, for example, ako, bibigyan mo ako ng ano, support. Ha? Tapos pagdududahan mo, of course, eh, nakaka-down din yun. Hindi lang para sa isa, para sa overall ng group. So, let's, let us, uh, I wish we could set aside our differences and play by their own terms. I've been insisting on us playing on their own terms kasi yun yung sistema na ngayon na. Of course, one, inaantabayanan to ng other teams. Two, may basbas to ni Akimoto-san whether we like it or not. And, yun nga eh. That's the general election. So again, um, how do I take charge on this? Again, I'm opening the door for all the fan clubs I'm inviting every fan club that is, uh, of course, eh, syempre, hindi naman tayo basa-basa na fan club. Of course, kailangan natin yung fan club na that will represent the majority of the fans ni Oshi X, Oshi Y, Oshi Z. And it's tentatively titled, Vote MNL48. Uh, patterned after my current campaign, which is Vote Keep Six, no? Uh, yun na nga, no? Um, my way is to spread the word. I'm helping spread the word. And at the same time, I will also make an informed decision kung sino iboboto ko. Kasi even though I am a faithful, meaning fan ako ni MNL48 faith, uh, and I, of course, I said promises. I, I keep promises. So, um, dalawa sila ni Ash eh. Faith and Ash, of course, nasa markado ko na yan sa balota. And of course, I still want to pick another one. Maybe, maybe, ano, so maybe, maybe from your stories, you can convince people na to vote for Oshi X, Oshi Y, Oshi Z. 
that's that's what I want. It's not that, no. You can boycott halo-halo entertainment all you want, pero hindi ma-recognize yung contribution niyo sa elections. Simply because you didn't, ano, you, you don't want to vote, fine. It's your choice, pero hindi ma-recognize ng majority ng mga fans yung uh, boto eh. The best way, again, the best way to win, to retain the original 48, regardless, is for you to vote, to assert your dominance on their own terms. That's what I've been saying a lot of times. And it's, uh, these past few days, it's really, really hard uh, conversations. Again, kung galit kayo sa management, bigyan nyo sila ng rason na makapagpapasisi sa kanila na ginawa nila itong mga mismanagement na to. Allegedly or not, or uh, yun ang ano, of course, nabigyan nyo sila na rason. When? Win the selection. Vindicate yourselves. Vindicate. Let's vindicate ourselves. And not the other way around, wherein we boycott the management. Eh, yun ang yung gateway to the, to the ladies. Eh. That's what I... That's, uh, no, of course, we still participate to that. And that's... That's... Uh, no, that's life. Di ba nga? Eh, corruption is everywhere. Hindi makawala yan. You are corrupted too. So, you know, ano, um, in the end, again, I'm closing this on a positive note. This proves that all of you love MNL48. Ika nga na sabi ni Kurosawa-san. And uh, once again, it's, uh, it's probably it's the first anniversary, first year anniversary of the podcast. We started talking about MNL48 on our few, first few episodes. And now we continue to talk about MNL48. That wraps up another episode of Keepsakes, the podcast. New episodes can be heard on anchor.fm slash keepsakes, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. You can follow me on Twitter at jagonoy. More updates will be posted on facebook.com slash keepsakes by Jay. Leave your voice messages using the Anchor app available on Google Play and the App Store. Shout out to Lee Rose Bear for the music. Thank you for listening to the podcast and I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.